Catch anything? You don't have oh, a ribbon fish. Sea dragon. All right. If we don't catch fish today, then. Um, Dude, I quit. I'm selling. Look at that boat. bait ball right there. I'm literally going to sell my boat at the ramp for like <laughs> 10 grand if we don't catch a fish today. <laughs> a little wave today. I was Barely say, thigh high. Like much like There's like 30 people on an ankle high wave right now at Croatan. So you don't have anywhere to be till tonight. No, don't. So we're freed up. Making a dank video today, people. You guys, today we're out here on the F-bomb 2.0 with Jeremy right here behind me. And today we're gonna show y'all, hopefully catching some fish out here on the beautiful Virginia Beach ocean front. Um, we actually have some really clear water today. We've had a light east wind for the past two days. That means it blows in this really clear, like kind of offshore uh, oceanic water. So we get some really clean, clear water. Makes for really good sight casting for Cobia. It also makes for good spear fishing because I brought the spear gear. We brought everything from flounder. Dude, what do we, everything, we right? We have clams, we've got some fresh shrimp. <laughs> we've got the plugs, we've got the jigs, and we have the Chug Norris. The it's Chug still, Norris. I want to catch a fish on this. Just in case. Just to say, <laughs> just to say. That's right. Always got to have the Chug Norris top water. You guys, today we are literally, I think we're just going to see how many species of fish that we can target. Target species is going to be some, maybe some flounder on the wrecks, um, maybe some cobia, maybe some trigger fish, Spanish mackerel for sure. Um, who the heck knows? You guys, today we're just going to go onto the ocean catch some fish and we also have our updated jeremy's updated cobia cola site cobia site casting platform check this out dude this jeremy this is crazy. you're way up there man dude so crazy all right y'all here it is virginia beach ocean front behind us the open ocean right there super Super stoked on the F-bomb 2.0. Got some waves coming. Oh, we got the, the Rudy rocket coming out. It's huge. It's time for us to start catching some dang fishies. All right, y'all. So we are out here at some near shore wrecks and we are gonna start doing some flounder fishing. So I've got a, this is my like tandem wreck fishing flounder rig. Got a one and a half ounce. I don't know if that'll be enough weight, but we'll start with that. And then I've got a little teaser on top. Just a little jerk shad. This thing will probably get destroyed by sea bass. All right, there it is, the flounder rig. Right. What are we in, like 60 feet? Uh, we are in 61 feet. Dang. Fish. Oh, good one. Good one. Fish on. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a flounder. Good flounder. Net? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, y'all. First fish of the day. Hopefully, we got as a keeper flounder. That was the target species. That's what it feels like. Doesn't feel like a giant, but it does feel like a keeper. Oh, yeah. Dude, solid. Take this. Yeah. Oh, he's almost here. Dang. There you go. I'll take this all day. Here he comes. Dang, dude, it's so. It almost feels like a trigger fish. Oh, big old trigger. Is it? Yeah. Nice trigger fish. Oh, 
That's pretty cool. Nice dude. Keeper? Oh, totally. Fat. Nice trigger. All right, y'all, finally, we got out to the wrecks and we got us a keeper in the boat. Beautiful trigger fish. This is some of the best tasting fish in the dang ocean. Trigger fish ceviche. I think that's what's gonna be on the menu tonight, people. Trigger fish ceviche. And that was like the first drop, so. So I got a pound of shrimp. I'm not sure if that's enough or. That's, yeah, more than enough. I'm gonna kind of ration them out just in case we get on some crazy awesome bites. But I had this thing on the ground a few seconds while ago and it was get, on. Really? Yeah. All right, y'all. Good day. Fish in the cooler. That's what's awesome about wreck fishing and using Berkeley Gold on the wrecks is literally everything. Everything. We'll eat this. We've even caught sheep's head. Really? Yeah. Not even lying about it. I'll take trigger fish all day long. All right, y'all. So this is my little combo, combo rig. I've got the uh, bucktail, one and a half ounce. Probably should be using a two ounce. And uh, we've got the nuclear chicken. Hey, quiet down in there. That trigger fish is going crazy. Uh, yeah, some nuclear chicken, the grub, and then the jerk shad, new penny. And all we're doing is just dropping it down 60 feet into Poseidon's lair. Poseidon's lair. <laughs> so all we're doing is just making sure this thing's on the bottom. And we know it's on the bottom when we let the rod tip down and the line goes slack. Not too much slack there. Really? Yep. Oh yeah. Nice, Jeremy's on. Ew. That looks like a trigger. Might be a trigger. That's a trigger. Oh! Get off? No! Get off! I'm about to join you in the shrimp game. Oh, big old sea bass, dude. Oh my Freaking word, jumbo. Jeremy. <laughs> Aren't these in season? I don't know, I'm gonna Google it though. That is a giant. I'm almost sure they are. All right, that's it. Going to the live bait game. I don't know, dude, those sea, I'd say trigger fish taste amazing. Sea bass tastes all like. Right. All right, y'all. Jeremy, mm, that is. Open recreational fishing shall be from May 15th through December 11th. It shall be unlawful for any per, wait. Yeah, I think so they're in. like it's, uh, they're in season. Yeah. Bro, hold this thing Federal up. Dude, stud muffin. Big old sea bass. They're beautiful, man. Yeah, they are. And they Let's throw them in the, the cooler. Two of the best triggers, sea bass. Taste amazing. That is already a great looking cooler in the first five minutes. All right, people. We're gonna switch it up to the shrimp game. Jeremy went and got us some fresh shrimp. So it seems like there's everything on this wreck. And shrimp catches everything. So does Berkeley Gold. But we're gonna try and get some sea bass. Just everything, 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 everything. All right, so here it is. Changing it up. Did the flounder rig. Now we got the wreck fishing rig. Shrimp. Can't beat it. Everything eats shrimp, even people. While we're feeding these, these shrimp are, these fish are living large. Fish out. You got fish on? Did. Look at my rod tip. Are they playing with it? That's not. Oh! Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh! Yep, that's that shrimp. Look at that. That looks like good fish. Yep. Oh, I thought I was going to be doubled up. Dude, this is like wreck fishing to the max right here, people. Look at this. Can't beat it. Look at that. <laughs> what do you think, Trigger? Can never tell. Oh my gosh. I'm on. Oh. Are you on? Doubled up. Or are you on the wreck? I'm on the wreck. And another trigger. Little one. 
Even these little ones. Yeah, I think I'm on the rack. But he'll eat. Yeah, definitely on the rack. At least we know it's down there. Dude, we could, this is awesome. Could do this all dang day. All right, people. These trigger fish, such a blast. Beautiful fish, too. Fights. They oh fight really gosh, hard. Dude, they fight so good. It's like spades. They're flat fish, you know, they just lay on their side. Won't give up. Beautiful. Cooler of success. Right here is a one ounce pyramid. I feel like a kid again, wreck fishing. Yeah. It's almost like using a worm and bobber. That's yeah. Like really, it's crazy. Really good eating fish. Do I got a fish on already? No. I did. Now I do. Look at that. Dude. You know what I'm thinking? I'm hooked a limited up. Limited trigger, limited sea bass, so, limited spade fish. Yep. Are Yeah, look at this. Spanish? Cobia, Spanish. Yep. Yes, sir. What do you got here, man? Another Trigger, I think. Oh my gosh, you guys. These Trigger fish fight so good. It's like spade fish. They taste way better. I'm super excited. Angelica was just saying, like, please catch me some fish. They come up with me. Have you ever had Triggers? No. Oh, son. I have not, dude. This guy just will not give up. It's like these fish, they just lay on their side. Oh my gosh. Literally, this bait like just dropped to the bottom. This wreck is loaded with these guys. What is it? Trigger. So fun. All right, I'm boat flipping you, buddy. You know if you need help. I got it. Yeah, these are all like great eating size. Whew. Definitely a you got one? And all y'all need is just a little piece of these shrimp. That's all you need. It's crazy, we're using only one ounce weights. Yeah, like two ounce. Oh, to get it down there? Uh-huh, two, three. But I do I like to go as light as possible. It's just more fun. Dude, as soon as this shrimp gets down there, it's just getting like... Demolished. Yeah, right? yeah. There he is. Little one. This feels like a little sea bass. Ain't even worth my time. Probably use the same bait. Right. All like little sea bass. You getting like little pecky bites? Yeah. I don't know what this one is. <laughs> I think it's a sea bass. Nah. Sea bass. Just the sea bass. Nah. Well, it might be actually. You know, for as many Berkeley Gulp as y'all cost me, you're going in the cooler because it's legal. Dang, dude. Sea bass tastes so good. 
All right, y'all, so hopefully that shows y'all that with some Berkeley Gulp and some shrimp, uh, you guys can pretty much catch anything. That was a really, really awesome day. We actually did some spear fishing and we caught some more sea bass and triggers and everything, but I just felt like now is a good time for me to end the video because it was kind of the same thing for the next like 30 minutes or so. So I wanted to give y'all an update on Christy and I and everything and on the channel because you know now we're really pumping out a lot more content and getting back on it. Um, so as y'all know, if you actually if you don't know already, uh, Christy and I, uh, she is pregnant and we are expecting. Uh, the due date is actually in December. Um, it's kind of early December, I believe. My birthday is actually in December, so uh, pretty special. We had our gender reveal, so it's common knowledge that we are having a boy. Um, so we're really, really excited about that. Just honestly, we're excited to, you know, have a child. Uh, we're, you know, like everybody says, it doesn't matter if it's a boy or girl. Um, but the fact that we are having a boy, really excited to uh, get this kid. Hopefully he likes to fish and surf and do all the fun stuff that we like to do. Um, but that's just kind of an update for y'all. Christy and I, we are going to be doing uh, probably just like a more like in-depth uh, video just about everything we you know got a new house in the past year um, uh, Just I don't know kind of some big changes in our life uh, some businesses that we started and um, just some things that we really felt like that uh, Y'all would kind of want to know about that are related to the channel and to Christy and I and to what we do um, We would absolutely love to maybe even do like a one fish two fish bash if y'all would uh, be stoked to do that. So I don't know if that's something that y'all would be into doing or not. Um, if it is, then we would absolutely love to do it. Uh, again, Christy and I, we've really missed seeing you guys uh, and really just, you know, pumping out the content that we normally have, like one to two videos a week, which we are doing now. Yeah, so Christy and I, we're gonna be doing a lot more content, you know, a lot of fishing, a lot of our kind of normal stuff that we do. But honestly, just, everything around the ocean and why we love doing what we do so yeah of course fishing of course the tutorials um, some surfing uh, some spear fishing some fly fishing things like that if you guys have any uh, videos that you would like us to do or to see uh, maybe some uh, style of fishing or a species that you would like us to target um, in this area or if you guys want to invite us fishing or me since I guess Christy can't really come right now because she's under a lot of like restrictions. She can't really work out. She can't do too much. They don't want her like flexing her ab muscles too much. So they said, you know, that it'd probably be best that she doesn't fish, but we think that she might be able to do some like pier fishing or just some kind of super light action stuff. So hopefully as the fall approaches and Christy gets really uh, into the third trimester um, and uh, they feel really good about the pregnancy uh, progressing even more then it'd be great for Christy to actually uh, do some fishing do some like beach fishing pier fishing things like that um, but anyways you guys that's just a quick little update for y'all um, Christy and I we are gonna be doing like a more kind of full-on in-depth like vlog um, and we just can't thank you guys enough for your support and for um, you guys, yeah, just continuing to support us on this channel and we just like to pay it forward and keep putting out more content and um, just showing you guys uh, how to catch fish and getting you guys stoked on fishing and getting out on the water. Cause that's what it's all about. Um, but anyways, you guys, that's all I got for today and we'll catch you all in the next vid. Peace out.